Hey guys, hope you're doing good today. So in today's video, I'm going to go over a tutorial of how you can get FriendTech installed on your desktop with the same utility as you would have on your mobile, all the same features. So again, we're going to go over this tutorial and I'm going to make it super simple and quick. Now, for those who don't know what FriendTech is, it is the leading social media app right now. It's been taking the world by storm, been out for a week, got over 66,000 followers on Twitter. For those who want to know more about it, check my previous video I made. I go over all the ins and outs, how you can create an account, etc. So watch that video. It's really self-explanatory. Now, first, let's get into this tutorial. Now, this is for Google Chrome. So if you have Safari, I'm sorry. Google Chrome is the easiest way um, that I can get this to work. So again, if you have Safari, I don't know if it's going to work for you. So if you don't take a screenshot, if you don't take a pause of this picture right here, you can. But I'm just going to go over all the steps because I've already done it. But again, these are all the step-by-step -step instructions. So first things first, what you want to do is open your developer tools. So press the F12 button. Once you press that, it's going to open up the developer tools on the right. From there, you're going to go up to the top right, click the three dots, and then click more tools, and then click network conditions. Once you click network conditions, a little tab is going to open up on the bottom here. You're going to want to uncheck use browser default because you don't want to use the browser here. Then this drop down is going to happen. Click this drop down menu and do not click the first two Android. These are not the correct ones. What you want to do is under Chrome, click Chrome Android Mobile. This is the correct option. This is going to work for you. And then scroll down and also uncheck this use browser default as well. After that, you're going to want to refresh your page. So go ahead and refresh your page. And then from there, you can go to friend.tech. So go to your URL, type in friend.tech. Now, when I do that, this is gonna come up for me because I'm already logged in. For you, what you're gonna see is you're actually gonna see what it looks like on mobile when you first installed the app. So this is how it's going to look if you're on your desktop and you go to friend.tech after doing everything we just did, okay? It's gonna act like you're on mobile. Now the thing you need to do afterwards is on Google Chrome, the top right, there's gonna be three dots. Click that and then click install friend tech. Okay, you should see a button says install friend tech. After you install it, what's gonna now happen is it's gonna open up a separate window. So that separate window is basically going to, it's gonna look like this window, except it's gonna be basically the same that it you saw whenever you couldn't install it on your desktop. So for example, this is what's gonna show when that second window opens. Now, what this is, is basically saying that you need to redo what you did for your developer tools on this new window. So you're gonna press F12, and then you're gonna to have to go through everything we just went through. So again, F12, click on the three dots, more tools, network conditions, and then down, uncheck use browser default, Chrome, Android mobile, and then refresh. And that should work for the new window that opens. After that, then you'll be prompted with the login screen. And then you're going to put in your phone number just as you would on mobile. It'll give you a little uh, verification. And then after you log in, then this is what it's going to look like. Now, you can see here, again, this has exactly the exact same chat features, exact same explore, airdrop, everything is the exact same. So this is super, super simple and I love this. Um, it makes it really user friendly. Now, one big thing as well that you wanna do is I actually, you can't see it, but on the bottom, I have this pinned to my taskbar on the bottom. So that's definitely something you wanna do. So whenever you have this app open, you can actually, um, on the bottom, whenever it's open, you can actually just right click and then you can see here, just click pin to taskbar. I have it already pinned, so it says unpin, but just right click um, where it, basically it's already opened on your taskbar and then just click pin to taskbar. So you can open this every time. So basically what happens is say you close it out and you wanna reopen it. I'm just gonna click my friends tech uh, button on the bottom there. And you can see I'm already logged in. Everything is super simple. So definitely easy tutorial here. Um, again, if you aren't following me on Twitter, definitely follow me there at the Crypto Data. I post a lot of content. I post a lot of stuff regarding Friend Tech as well. I stay on the latest narratives. I'm gonna try to keep it up to date. Also, have some shares on Friend Tech as well. They're pretty cheap right now. I think it's 0.05 Ethereum. So, 
Uh, if you want to buy that, I provide a lot of alpha as well. You can see I call a lot of, call a lot of coins very, very early, as well as any new um, big accounts that create Frentech uh, shares as well. So if you enjoyed the video, guys, uh, please give it a like. Please comment if you have any questions. I hope this helped you all out. Please subscribe if you haven't. I always provide the latest info for you all for free and help you out whenever I can. So until next time, thanks for watching.